Good morning everyone! Today I wanted to share how I create a short, crunchy, flaky pie crust. It truly is delicious. The easiest way to do this is in the food processor. The secret to creating the perfect pie crust is to handle it as little as possible. You don't want to knead the dough at all. Combine two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt in the food processor. Pulse it a couple of times to evenly mix it through. Next you're going to add one cup of cold butter that's been cut into cubes and you're going to pulse this a few times until you get a mixture that resembles crumbs or breadcrumbs. We use cold butter so that the pie crust will be short, crunchy and not chewy. This is really important, you want to make sure that you don't over mix it. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of ice water Pulse it again until the mixture only begins to come together like this. Do not continue mixing it in once you are at this point. The next part is to turn out that crumbly dough onto a work surface. Now you're going to carefully, without working through the dough, you're just going to bring the dough together and form it into a disc like this. Wrap it up in cling film and chill it for an hour. Once you're ready to roll it, you want to place the dough between two sheets of parchment paper and you're going to roll it out to the thickness of a one pound coin. If you're making tartlets, then you're going to use a cutter to cut out around three inch circles and you're going to press them into a cupcake pan just like this. You want to prick the bases with a fork and then you're going to chill the entire pan for one hour. Once that hour is up and you're ready to bake them, you're going to line the bases with parchment paper, just like this, and you're going to fill those cavities with baking beans, rice, or peas, anything that is dry and that can be put in the oven. You're going to blind bake these at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Then you're going to remove the baking beans and the parchment paper, and you're going to bake them again for around five minutes more. When you're making a larger tart, the process is still the same. The only thing that's different is that you will blind bake the tart uh, shell for a little longer. So in the beginning, for the tartlets, we bake them for 15 minutes. Uh, for a larger tart, you want to bake it for around 20 minutes. And then you're going to remove the parchment paper and the baking beans and bake it for another five minutes until golden. Once you're done baking them, you're going to set them aside and cool the base. Then you can fill it as you would any other tart and proceed with the rest of the recipe. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. So thank you for watching everyone. Much love and have a good one. Bye.